Um, classical conditioning first, um, do it gently. I, I do classical conditioning almost as a desensitization procedure too. Um, I start with the stimulus, the social stimulus, long way off. I explained this yesterday, won't go over it again. Um, you're afraid of dogs, then start with a dog 100 yards away. Give your dog a fighting chance to succeed. You don't take him to an obedience class. I mean, the dog's going to freak out. He's going to pull on leash, you're going to get pissed off, you're going to stretch his neck, and the negative classical conditioning is increased. The dog learns my owner is very aggressive when we're around other dogs. All right? I want loads of successes. We go forward and back, forward and back. There's the stimulus. The stimulus appears and disappears. Right? You must present to the dog, um, praise, 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 or Campbell's jolly, 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 I'm happy, happy, happy. Dog just disappeared behind a wall. I'm just now amorphous lump. And then, whoa, I'm really happy today. Look, there's a dog over there. It's a happy dog. Makes Ian happy. Oh, I'm so glad that that... And when you've done about six, 12 repetitions of that, the dog is making the connection. You know, I'm not fond of dogs, but wow, I love my owner's demeanor when other dogs appear. Have you got it? So I looked at these four dogs in sit stays and thought, what happened here? And so I sort of went back, and I'm very lucky. I, I said, yes, I have an eidetic memory for visual stuff. If I see it, I, I'm not going to forget. You know, I can't remember people's names. I can't remember telephone numbers now. But no, I see it. And I went back, and I thought, oh, my God. All I was doing was watching the tail chaser. Because everyone says he chases his tail all day long. He never stops. Is that true? No. What did I do when he stopped chasing? He said, hi, pup, and I gave him a treat. That's all I did. I was watching all these behaviors, and I just waited for them to end and said, good boy, here's a treat. And so the sequences got shorter, and we're talking a 35-minute session. Now, these dogs aren't cured. Okay? The point is training broke through, and it broke through very, very quickly. We present the stimulus on, off, on, off, Giving the dog all the good is when the stimulus is there. The connection is made. We walk the dogs on leash. 50 yards apart. I mean, don't pressure your dog. It's a social stimulus. But this is when you walk. Let other dogs always there. It's not going to be a week before you have a walking companion. Okay? Then, if no damage is done, I just say, let them off leash. You see, no damage is done. It has been proven to me they have had six fights. Omaha had 11 fights. No damage done. He has bite inhibition. So what has happened here is, in puppyhood, praise, 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 when you're a good dog, praise, 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 taking it now for granted that you're a good dog. And now, oh, you don't meet any new dogs now because we aren't going to any new classes. Puppy class is over. Puppy two is over. We walk the same route every day. We go on the same long walk every Sunday. We have the same friends with their dogs. He hasn't met a new dog forever. At six to eight months, he gets in his first fight and we freak out, especially if we have a little tiny dog or a very big dog. Because if we have a little tiny dog, we think, oh, my dog, the dog could die. And if we have a really big dog, we think, he could really hurt a little dog. We spook. Now, the next dog we see, we're uptight. Here comes the negative classical conditioning. The dog learns we're uptight around other dogs. The dog is saying, my owner was totally fine for eight months. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, they became reactive to other dogs on leash. And that's exactly what happened. Now your dog can't see another dog without you freaking out. So he freaks out and woo-woos and tells them to go away. And now socialization drops to zero. And now it really is. It's one of the times I believe the owner. I can't go anywhere without the dog reacting on leash to other dogs. I say you're absolutely right. The good news is I totally believe you. You have one hell of a problem, don't you? But we've got an easy solution because we've worked out the bite-fight ratio. Your dog's totally safe. We can go into a growl class. And the reason why dogs aren't learning is they're not getting any feedback. It just ain't there. Was it Gene Donaldson said? It's two per minute and both of them are wrong for pet owners, whereas a trainer delivers 22 bits of feedback per minute. That's the only difference. You've often wondered, why is this dog that's reactive on leash or barking in class, then the trainer takes him and he's perfect? That's why. 
because the trainer is giving the dog feedback and the most important feedback is when you're doing nothing wrong the absence of misbehaviors specific important feedback is the cessation of a bad behavior let the problem be your friend the the um, classical conditionists at open port learn when they're working with dogs oh there's a barking dog training opportunity not to say shut up but to continue working with this dog at a distance and then he stops barking oh good boy yes you stop you can have a treat and another treat and another treat and the dog thinks well that was easy there was Ian working with that horrible little sheltie over there all I had to do was stop barking he comes up the dog doesn't think that of course because conditioning is subconscious